Hello and welcome to prime number series. In this series, we will learn how to print prime numbers from 2 to some number n. We will see what are the different approaches of doing these things. Okay. And we will also see and we will also see which is the best approach. Fine. So let's get started. So what are prime numbers? A prime number is a whole number that is greater than 1 whose only factors are 1 and itself. Now, what are the examples? What is the meaning of this definition? Let's see some examples. So the number should be a whole number and it should be greater than 1. So begin from 2. So what are the factors of 2? Whose only factors are 1 and itself, correct? So we have to find the factors of 2. So what are the factors of 2? That is 1 and 2. So is 2 a prime number? Let's see here. Factors are 1 and the number itself. So yes, 2 is a prime number. Move it to 3. What are factors of 3? It is nothing but 3 and 1. So the factor should be only 1 and 3. So is 3 is a prime number or not? Yes, 3 is a prime number. Move it to 4. So what are the factors of 4? Come on. What are the factors of 4? It is very simple. It is 1, 2 and 4. So is 4 a prime number? The definition of prime number is the number should be greater than 1. Okay, it is. But the factor should be only 1 and itself. So 1 and itself. But we have an extra factor that is 2. Therefore, 4 is not a prime number. I hope now it is clear what a prime number is. So for example, 5. So factors are 1 and 5. So 1 and itself. Yes, 5 is a prime number. 6. So it is 1, 2, 3 and 6. So we have two extra factors here other than 1 and 6. Therefore, 6 is not a prime number. For example, 7, it is just 1 and 7. So yes, 7 is a prime number. 8, it is 1, 2, 4 and 8. So is 8 a prime number or not? Just tell me. Is 8 a prime number? Yes or no? What is the answer? So 8 is not a prime number. Correct? Because we have extra factors that is 2 and 4. So this was a definition of prime numbers. Correct? The number should be greater than 1 and the factors of that number should be 1 in itself. Then that number is known as a prime number. Okay? The minimum prime number we have is 2. 2 is the smallest prime number. Now let's move forward and see how we will determine whether a number is a prime number or not. Determine prime number or not. Correct? So for example, our number is 25 and we have to de determine whether 25 is prime or not. So how we will do it? It's very simple. Start from the basic smallest prime number or smallest number that is 2. Okay. The number 25 should be divisible only by 1 and 25 and nothing else. And nothing else. If it is divisible by any number in between, then we will say 25 is not a prime number. So now check for 2. 25 divided by 2 or 25 modulus 2. Is it equal to equal to 0? No, it is not equal to 0. So 25 is not divisible by 2. So okay, we move forward. Check for 3. Is 25 divisible by 3? No, 25 is not divisible by 3. So we will move forward. Check for 4. Is 25 divisible by 4? Is 25 divis divisible by 4? 25 is mod 4 equal to equal to 0 or not? No, it is not equal to equal to 0. So 25 is not divisible by 4 also. Check for 5. Is 25 divisible by 5? Yes, 25 is divisible by 5. Therefore, we got a number other than 1 and 25 which divides 25. We got a number other, other than 1 and 25 which divides 25. Correct? So therefore, 25 is not a prime number. It is not a prime number. Check for another. Let's go for another example. 51. Check for 1. So yes, it is divisible by 1. For 2, is 20, 51 divide, uh, divisible by 2? No, 51 is not divisible by 2. Correct? Is 51 divisible by 3? Let's see. 51. Is it divisible by 3? Yes, it was from 17. So 17 into 3 is 51. So we got a number other than 1 and 51 that divides 51. So in this case, 51 is also not a prime number. Fine. Let's go for 17. Can you guys now tell me? Is 17 a prime number or not? How we will check it? Just don't tell me. Is it a prime number or not? How we are checking? So we are starting from a basic number. We are starting from the basic number. No need to check for 1 because everything is divisible by 1. Check from 2. So is 17 divisible by 2? We are checking. Is 17 more 2 equal to equal to 0 or not? No, it is not. So we are moving forward. So if I was 2 here, 
now i became i plus plus i became 3 correct so now check for 17 mod 3 is it equal to equal to 0 no it is not go for 4 is 17 divisible by 4 no is 17 divisible by 5 no is it by 6 no is it by 7 no is it by 8 no we have to go till how much 16 we have to go till 16 is 17 divisible by 16 no then we will say 17 so only 1 and 17 are the numbers that can divide 17 that can divide 17 therefore 17 is a prime number 17 is a prime number i hope you understood how we'll determine whether a number is prime or not okay this is the most basic method to determine whether a number is prime or not okay go from 2 to 1 less than number that is if it is n go to n minus 1 go from 2 to n minus 1 and in between check is there any number that divides 17 that divides n if it is then n is not a prime number if it does not exist then n is a prime number it is very very simple so let's see this so determine whether a number n is a prime number or not how will you do this the most basic approach is to check for all the numbers from 2 to n minus 1 whether the number divides n or not so if a number in a range divides n then n is not a prime number else n is a prime number so we have just seen this so 17 so from 2 to 16 there are no numbers that can divide 17 therefore 17 is a prime number 17 is a prime number but in the case of 51 we found out that 3 divides 51 3 divides 51 therefore in the range of 2 to 50 3 comes in the between of this and 3 divides 51 therefore 51 is not a prime number so what is a prime number the number should be divisible only by 1 and itself only by 1 and itself in between if any number divides it then that number is not a prime number okay so this is the most basic approach so this is also an algorithm correct this is just so simple algorithm we can write a code for it so let's write a code for determining whether a number is a prime number or not it is really really simple so integer n scan f n so we are taking a user input here in the flag i will explain each and every line don't worry this is just a simple code for i equals to 2 to less than n so 2 to n minus 1 that is what we are doing 2 to n minus 1 that is less than n we are checking if n mod i equal to equal to 0 flag equal to 1 break correct if flag equal to 1 that means it is not a prime number else it is a prime number now let's see step by step what is happening in this code let's see step by step so first is can f n correct so for example my n value is 35 for example i am taking the n value is 35 user input is 35 next step declaring a flag variable and initializing it to 0 correct so flag variable is declared and initialized to 0 okay now I explained we have to start from i equals to 2. I have explained this. We have to start from i equals to 2. So i equals to 2. Check whether 2 is less than n. So is 2 less than 35? Guys, is 2 less than 35? Yes, 2 is less than 35. So the condition is true and we will come inside our for loop. Am I correct? So we are inside our for loop now. Now in this for loop, the condition is n mod i equal to equal to 0. So 35, sorry, 35 mod 2. Is it equal to equal to 0? No. It is not equal to equal to 0 it is equal to equal to 1 35 mod 2 is 1 it this condition is false this condition is false so we will not go inside the if block and we will go to the increment block okay so we will increment the value of i so now new i value is 3 again we will check is 3 less than 35 yes 3 is less than 35 so again this condition will be checked is 35 mod 3 equal to equal to 0 no this condition is false 35 mod 3 is not equal to 0 so we will not go inside the loop and we will increment the value of i see we are doing the same thing we did before we have a value 35 we checked it with 2 it is not divisible we are now, we are now checking with it with 3 it is not divisible now we will increment the value of i and we will check the same value for 2 3 and now we will check the value for 4 correct so 35 mod 4 is it equal to equal to 0 no 35 mod 4 is not equal to 0 so again this if condition if loop will not sorry if block will not work and we will go to increment now i value will become 5 so first it was 2 then it became 3 then it became 4 for 2 3 and 4 35 is not divisible by 2 3 and 4 so now we are checking is 35 divisible by 5 okay there is a condition of i less than n so is 5 less than 35 yes it is correct so we will check is 35 mod 5 equal to equal to 0 now this condition becomes true this condition becomes 
true so we will come inside our if flow so we will come inside our if block correct here so flag value now becomes one flag value is updated to one and we will break we will break so what is the meaning of break and what is the meaning of flag value here so 35 2 3 4 was not uh, was not dividing 35 but 5 is dividing 35 correct so even if we found one number even if we found one number that can divide 35 we will stop we will stop because there is no need to check further why because the condition is only 1 and 35 should be able to divide 35 if 35 is a prime number but we got a number 5 which is able to divide 35 correct so we do not need to check for any other numbers we can directly say here since 35 is divisible by 5 therefore 35 is not my prime number okay therefore this is a flag variable that i got a number it is a flag that i got a number from which 35 is divisible and what the break statement does it will break from the loop i do not need to increment i any further okay now after this i will simply come here and i will check is flag equal to equal to one so yes flag is equal to equal to one so it's very simple just print that 35 is not a prime number so the output is 35 is not a prime number correct so this is a really really simple code what we are doing in a single loop what we are doing in a single loop we are checking for each value whether n is divisible by value or not if n is not divisible by any of these values then n is a prime number else n is a not a prime number okay let's check for one more example so in this case n equals to 7 n equals to 7 okay flag value is 0 i value will become start from 2 it will check is i less than n is 2 less than 7 yes it is correct so we'll move forward now is 7 divisible by 2 guys is 7 divisible by 2 no 7 is not divisible by 2 okay so we will simply move forward and i will increment the value of i to 3 correct now is 3 less than 7 yes so it will come inside the for loop here it will check is 7 divisible by 3 is 7 divisible by 3 no 7 is not divisible by 3 therefore it will simply increment the value of i to 4 now again it will check is 4 less than 7 yes come inside if n mod i so 7 mod 4 is it equal to equal to 0 no 4 is not dividing 7 so we'll increment the value of i so till now 2 we have checked 3 we have checked 4 we have checked now we will check 5 is 5 capable of dividing 7 no 5 does not divide 7 so simply we will increment the value of i to 6 now is 6 less than 7 yes 6 is less than 7 so we'll check is 7 mod 6 equal to equal to 0 now 7 mod 6 is not actually equal to 0 so therefore this if block will not run again and the i value will be incremented to 7 i value will be incremented to 7 now it will check is 7 less than 7 now this condition will become false since this condition becomes false so where we will go we will we, we, we will go inside for loop or we will exit the for loop just think about it will we go inside the for loop or we will exit the for loop since the condition became false now we will exit the for loop and we are exiting the for loop here correct so this statement will run next so is flag equal to equal to one just check flag value is not changed so flag value is equal to zero since flag value is equal to zero this if block will not run else block will run okay now it will go to the else block and it will print that seven is a prime number so this is the most basic approach guys to check whether a number is prime or not to check whether a number is prime or not let's see the time complexity for this approach so the time complexity analysis for this is so this take order of one time constant time this also take a constant time okay this if block also take a constant time this operation takes one time okay this printing takes a constant time the only time which is not constant here is the for loop this for loop runs for n times okay actually it runs for n minus one time correct so order of n minus one that means nothing but order of n so the time complexity of this loop is order of n so for example for n equals to one i take one unit of time the program takes one unit of time so for n equals to 100 the program will take 100 units of time correct because the time complexity is order of n for input size as long as one two three four five in the worst case it can take one two three four five units of time okay and when is the worst case the worst case is when n is a prime number when n is a prime number that is the worst case for this program correct so as the number of inputs increases the time also increases so can we get a better approach the question is can i get a better approach than order of n time 
can I get a better approach for finding for determining whether a number is prime or not than order of n come on just think about it and the answer is yes we can get a better approach and we will see that approach in the next video okay we will see two approaches in the next video thank you